We're here with Joe Wurzelbacher, also known as Joe the Plumber, who uh, whose confrontation with President Obama resulted in uh, becoming a nationwide figure. <laughs> yes, yes. I, uh, I asked a question, became famous, uh, which I absolutely find absurd because I was just doing my job as an American. And ultimately, that's why we're here at CPAC. We're hopefully encouraging people to uh, question and at the same time convict as opposed to inspire. Inspiration fades. Conviction is real and lasts forever. Um, and hopefully get people more involved in, uh, in their civic responsibility. Yeah, and you're with Liberty Alliance. Yeah, Liberty Alliance, a uh, good company. They, they help market and brand uh, websites, uh, monetize Facebook or uh, monetize uh, websites. And, um, you know, they get a good conservative message out there to the people. Now, uh, we were talking earlier, uh, you you knew uh, Andrew Breitbart back in the day. You oh, were, sure. Yeah. Uh, and, and what were you saying about, you know, what Andrew's legacy kind of meant to, in terms of the, uh, uh, you know, the Tea Party movement and conservatism? Well, Andrew had a, a, a wide and long-term vision. And, uh, you know, he had strategy after strategy. Uh, he'd do one thing and he knew the press or whoever would react a certain way and he already had a plan backed up for that. Uh, if, you know, if, if Andrew was around still, I, I think we'd see a, a big difference in what's going on in the political movement because he was the kind of guy that uh, could move those things and make things happen. He, he, he showed up and he, he, he made himself felt and uh, that was huge. You, uh, you also uh, knew our friend uh, uh, Steve Bannon. Yes. Who is uh, speaking at one o'clock today. Uh, uh, the way that Bannon has been portrayed in the media. Well, they have to discredit him. I mean, they did the same thing with me when I asked Barack Obama a question. They have to discredit you because you make too much sense. You know, what I like about Steve is, you know, he's strong on states' rights. And, you know, I believe, and ultimately, that's what the Constitution is, too, is most of the power is supposed to re remain in the states. The federal government's supposed to have limited power. And so I'm really hoping that Steve's able to, uh, with President Donald Trump, maybe give some of that power back to the states. Uh, and I, I think this country would be better off for that. Thank you very much, Joe. You're very welcome.